how you look at the NCAA committee. They were arguably the first team out of the national picture. Played in the WNIT and now with a fresh looking group. Here is JoJo Lacey inside Gekdang and a good start for the reigning all ACC freshman team selection. Healthy became part of the process of improving and getting healthy again. And Coach Mack really excited for what she will bring to the table this year. On the board, there is Sanchez. Lacey is good. So a triple for JoJo Lacey. Spotting up, this is somewhat of a new facet of her game, showing the perimeter shot. Later freshman year at NC State, as you see the Eagles go with the early trap and a turnover, and the first points of the career for Tiana Todd. It was the second foul on Dowdy, so Sydney Coombs will come in for the first time. There's Todd going back to work. Did, though, in the final four games of the season, improve her average up to six and a half points a game. So I think that kind of helped show Coach Mack that she's capable of it. Knocked out off of UMass Lowell. Here's what I was talking about with Tiana Todd. Just trying to stay with Jolina Sanchez. Scoring ability off the bench this year. She feels pretty good about the 10 that she has though. There's a nice roll. Carrera, and it's turned over. JoJo Lacey read it well, and two more for the junior. And one of the first times it feels like UMass Lowell has been able to set up in the half court here. Here is Edmonds for three. That is good. As a sophomore last year. Another three. That one looked like it was affected by Wagner. And the Eagles back on the run. Mayor handoff, Wagner. Just like that, Boston College back to matching its largest lead of the quarter. How about Gek Dink? Well, everything but the shot at the end of it there. Three ball on the other end is good for Eleanor. That was one thing that Lowell did well last year. They were the best percentage-wise shooting the three in the A East last year. There is Van Timmeren inside. Basically is an extra year, but getting the extra year, she took hers to the front end and now has two more. Led her team to the Class B title for the second time. Also did it in 2020. And it's 0 for 2 at the foul line here. And what a quick transition play for UMass Lowell. Van Timmeren had a piece of the rebound, but Van Warrising was there for Lowell. Edmonds trying again, and good from three. Those are the kind of plays when you play as fast as Boston College does. It can hurt you a little bit when the other team gets momentum. Give it right back to them. Sanchez for three. And war is swing for Edmonds. That's a long two, and it's good. With the hand in her face, Janai Edmonds. Four of them in the game. Riverhawks have connected from long range. Nice move inside, Kekte. There's just not enough size that can contend to keep her out of the paint. Oh, what a steal by Mayer. Got a great position, and that rolls home. First points in the college career, Taina Mayer. It's got a couple of personals because of it. Three ball, Van Warren saying, good! Going a little zone here are the River Hawks. Todd got inside. One point lead, Boston College. Todd step back three. No, Gak Dang the follow. From down one or two to up by two right now. Trying to hold the spot. Oh, Lacey's open for three. Nice passing by the Eagles at JoJo Lacey with a new career high. And another turnover. Mayer out front. Nice move to the 10. Inside, Dak Day blocked at the rim by Coombs. Rebound sat loose, though, for Wagner. And hit the jumper, but Dak Day follows it up. Here from Conti Forum. Aina Mayer was impressive as well. Here's Todd for three. That is good. Nine points. And 
had the lead at one point or another. Here's the drive at Sanchez. There's just nowhere to go. Maria Gakdang, and then it's Wagner, and the foul. A little breakaway with that steal. Wagner and she earned it. converting again. Well, again. Maria Gakdang, their fifth rebound of the day, and out front is Wagner. Woo. Wouldn't that be something for a debut? Coach Mack was excited about her. And she is proving her right. Oh, what a block, Lacey. There's the athleticism of that old uh, gymnastics experience that we showed you at halftime, and Lacey on the run. Had to get that bucket after what she did on the other end of the court, right? <laughs> and Mayer has got another steal. T. Mayer, what a debut. Had quite the effect coming out here for the third quarter. Yeah, they have certainly been aggressive. I think that was even kind of what Coach Mack was saying, is there is Daly and the foul. Riding on this freshman. And she has come to play today in so many ways. Got another steal. No problem for Todd. Been a while since the Eagles had scored on the other end. Inside, no. Chance again for Nur. Kick out three is good. Had a year there where the Eagles were still looking to find the next Emma Guy, and then Maria Gakdang came in in the middle. Had a wonderful year last year. There is Wagner. Career high for Wagner today. Career high for Lacey. Obviously a career high for all the freshmen. Good start to the year, and especially here in the third. It's the other teams in the national preseason rankings. Daly going to work. Nice pass, too, on the entry by Todd. Laudatory accolades I just gave her. Lacey inside. Oh, she made it. Joe, Joe Lacey. Van Timmeren inside. Yes. Another one for Boston College. Since that point, Boston College has outscored 41 10. 20 to nothing to start the third for BC. They got the first eight points here in the fourth before that. And through the hoop. McGee inside. Gak dang, yes. On the other end, Doughty. Edmonds missed the jumper on the other end. I never asked him to sign my yearbook, no. and it's one of my biggest regrets. It'd be nice when they get into ACC play if you have to take out Maria Gakdang for any extended period of time. And second year's head coach was an assistant for a few years with Tom Garrick. And he took over. There is Mayer. Returning just 27% of the points. That was another steal for Mayer, by the way. McGee. Got it! Mayer. Got it to Carbon. Everybody on the board for this freshman class. Combs with seven remaining, knocks it down. Gets Lowell on the board one more time. A dominant second half. And the Eagles are 1-0.